Alright, so I'm about to test something I got on Amazon. This is an XL um, 30 amp, 12 volt output buck converter. Takes 24 volts in, outputs 12 volts at 30 amps. Uh, I'm going to try to use this for an ATX power supply, uh, external power supply for a graphics card on a portable PC I'm making. So I want to test to make sure that it meets our ATX requirements, which um, voltage regulation for the 12 volt uh, power line supplied to a graphics card or to your motherboard will have a voltage of 11.4 to 12.6 volts with a nominal of 12. And I just want to make sure that it does that under all possible load scenarios. And I know that this isn't comprehensive. I'm just going to be testing resistive loads, not inductive or capacitive. But what I have here is a 1.6 or so ohm, possibly 2 ohm. Um, resistor bank. This was used in the mining industry at the turn of the century, um, 1800s to 1900s. And basically I'm just going to pump a bunch of current through it at, um, at different resistances. So I'll move these points. Um, so I'll be pumping 12 volts consistently through a given resistance. I'll be measuring the amperage and the voltage across it. And um, as long as it meets the requirements between 0 to 20 amps, it's good enough for a graphics card. I'm planning on getting a GTX 1060, um, 6 gigabyte. Uh, I was thinking about the, the, the Asus Turbo, um, what is it called, GTX 1060 Turbo. But the 1060, supposedly, a 20 amp power supply on the 12 volt rail is sufficient. Or a 20 amp power supply on the 12 volt rail is sufficient. And... Um, that's what I'm testing. So let's try it out. Okay, here we go. So that's uh, 17 amps, 11.71 volts. So it actually was okay. I was just measuring contact resistance where the leads were touching the, the, the jumper. So um, kind of getting a little wary here, disconnecting live but uh, here's disconnecting 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 and so we seem to be meeting our 12.6 max so I think this is actually going to work fine yeah that's great news all right, and a little bit more because I'm only at 18 amps right now. The uh, this power supply is not even hot. The wires, if anything, are a little warm. And the resistor bank is actually the warmest thing here because it's dissipating all that current. This is 30 amp rated, so if I go over a little bit, I'll be safe still. Okay, so there's 20. 3 amps, 11.75 volts. Eleven point seven seven. This is quite good. I, I'm very pleased with this. Um, and that's, yeah, 23 and a half volts. That prong, let's get it exactly to 20 so I can measure that. So that's 20 amps exactly. 11.88 volts. Again, 11.88. Um, that's 15 amps, 11.98. That's 14 amps, 12 volts, 12.02 volts. Um, that's 12 and a half amps, so 12.05 volts. Um, 11 and a half volts, or 11 and a half amps, 12.08 volts, and then when you remove it rapidly, it doesn't jump up or anything weird. It doesn't seem to surge poorly or anything. And uh, let's take it up to like 28 volts, or 28 amps if we can. Okay, there's 28 amps at 11.69 volts and I'm going to take it off now because that's 
pushing the power supply. But it is not warm, so that's great news. And that is a review of this Uxel from Amazon. Uh, Uxel DC DC converter. It's a buck converter, not a not a boost converter. So you can only put in 24 volts roughly and output 12 volts. You can't boost from 12 to 24. Um, 30 amp rated output. Um, I believe the range is somewhere in, in between um, I think it was 20 something to 36 volts if I remember right. And that's all.